what I love about the magic in Harry Potter is it's not high tech. We are doing effects fundamentally that you could have done 300 years ago. And that's what's so different about the magic in Harry Potter from any other show. Hogwarts will be the making of you, Albus. I promise you there is nothing to be frightened of there. My name is Skylar Fox, and I'm the Illusions and Magic Associate at Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Being the Illusions and Magic Associate for a Broadway show is a really specific and weird job, a little bit in the land of directing and choreography, a little bit in the land of set and costume and light and sound design. So my job is to help organize a lot of great creative people around the challenge of doing something impossible. You walk into a room and you're introducing people who've never done this to a new skill set. Basically, like, at the level that you need a David Copperfield to, because they're going to have to be illusionists on stage. Excellent! We've been tinkering and making the magic better over the years of doing the show because we're learning what really makes it work in human bodies. At the same time, we're working with our design teams and our crews to set everything up so that these feats of wizardry are possible on stage. It's so gratifying, especially because the job is so hard. It's when you walk out into the lobby and you hear people, did you see, how do you think they did that? Did you see that? Like, people care about the wizarding world and they come in with expectations. And I think that when you can deliver on the feeling of imagination they feel as readers or the kind of child part of themselves that read these books or the young adult part of themselves, that is so satisfying. I started doing theater and magic around the same time when I was about four years old. And I started them completely separate and never thought about them relating to each other. I did magic shows at kids' birthdays and then at festivals and at events. And then I did theater because I loved making things with people. And then Harry Potter came along and truthfully, there were six months of interviews. <laughs> and then at the end of those six months of interviews, I was lucky enough to get to do this job. To make something magical happen, everyone touching it, and everyone touches all these moments. Wigs, hair, and makeup touch almost every magic moment in the show. Every single person, lighting, sound, scenic, the actors, the crew member, even parts of the front of house need to be working perfectly so when something works, it's really affirming. It's what I love about theater. It's a lot of people working together towards a single purpose to make something possible. So there's nothing like it. I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Harry Potter didn't just change my life, it changed the field and the expectation of what was possible on stage. I try to pinch myself now because it feels so normal. It feels like, you know, I'm going to work and I'm standing on a Broadway stage and I sometimes have to take a moment and look out and be like, wow, I can't believe I get to be part of this thing. We are Broadway.